Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here with Steven. He joined my coaching program, the Content Agency Accelerator, four months ago at 8K MRR. Now Steven, tell him where you're at now. We are at 30K MRR right now. Dope. And then just to confirm, 99% of that is like, it's recurring, right? It's not like primarily one-offs yeah. or pain yeah. tools. Exactly, it's like all MRR. Cool, well, first things first, where are you from? Like you in Canada, USA, tell them where you're from. I'm from Canada. I'm close to Toronto, I'm like one hour away. I'm Canadian too, in case anybody didn't know. First thing I want to ask you is like obviously when you joined four months ago at 8k a month what were you sort of struggling with like was it really like an acquisition thing or maybe you just didn't know how to systemize like what was the main thing keeping you at 8k a month it was a little bit of acquisition but i think the main thing that kept us at 8k a month was like we didn't have any systems or operations in place we kind of were just like raw dogging everything we were just doing everything ourselves we didn't know who to hire how to hire how to set up systems so it's like smooth hiring or like how to like set up systems where it's like smooth like project management and stuff like that we like we had no systems whatsoever and like that was kind yeah. of taking our time away like we were just spending a lot of time doing things that wasn't scaling the business just because we had no systems to make everything easier and like that's what we needed help with the most got you makes sense and then on the acquisition side then you'd say things were going decent and then the main bottleneck was systems is that what you're saying yeah things were going decent they they're doing better now just because like the things you taught us gm 100 you know response handling stuff like that but yeah that's pretty much what you cool okay so walk us through what your sort of project Project management system look like before like we're using like just slack text back and forth or did you have like maybe a basic Trello board versus what things look like now and what type of software you're using yeah so with project management or operations in general like we had all of our clients like all in different places telegram whatsapp text message discord slack stuff like that and then after we just put everyone on slack that's how we manage our clients now but before it was like all over the place in terms of our teams and systems and operations stuff like that we never had like a project management system like we never had like a Trello board or an Airtable or anything like that. We were kind of just like doing text back and forth, like sending links, links back and forth on like WhatsApp or Discord or Slack. But now we have like a proper, you know, Trello system where we see exactly where in the process we're at in terms of like a certain video. Like, are we in the scripting process or the ideation process? Is the editor editing the video? Is he done? Does it need to be looked at? And then, yeah, so we have everything in place now on Trello. Awesome. Dope. And then I know we just recently made like some new Airtable modules inside of the community. Were you thinking of switching over to Airtable? table or are you just gonna like stick with Trello? 100% I'm gonna think about switching to Airtable. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that right now just because of like pretty big switch but I am gonna do it eventually just because there's a lot of things on Airtable that Trello doesn't have. For example like you have the onboarding form on Airtable. You have better automations on Airtable. For example like you can host onboarding forms on Airtable and collect information from there. Like Trello I can't send onboarding forms from Trello and then like other yeah. features as well. Yeah it makes sense. Yeah I mean you're gonna be good anyways because I was pretty much using Trello till like 50k a month and then it wasn't until around 50, 55 that I switched to Airtable. So yeah, cause you're right. Like switching project management system is like a huge thing. So it's like, yeah, whenever the time feels right, that's good. Walk us through sort of what your offer is. Like, hey, are you offering an end result? Is it just editing? Like what do you even do for your clients? We're a content agency just like you, but our main offer right now is 10 to 30 qualified book calls on YouTube. That's what we switch into. But before that we were offering 1 million views in 90 days or your money back guaranteed. And we were doing that through short form. But recently Got we it. switched to long it just seemed better for us mm -hmm. and how are you liking the switch so far from primarily short form to like primarily long form is it a lot smoother are you getting better client results what do you think overall yeah so it's definitely a lot smoother because with short form like it starts to add up if you have like so many clients then like if you're doing 30 videos per client like three clients that's like 90 videos a month and like if you don't have enough editors for that like you're not going to be able to fulfill in a timely manner so with long form it's a lot easier to manage because there's only like four videos per month for a client sometimes two sometimes three but I guess there's less volume of work to do there. It's just a lot easier to manage. Yeah, for us as well, that was like one of the main reasons we switched. It was like, okay, it's easier operationally, but also it's just easier to book people calls and like track it properly with short form. It's a bit of a mess like you're, yeah, you're saying. Yeah, that's true. Do you guys still do any short form? Because on our end, we still do like, let's say like 20% of our revenue or like 15 through short form and then the rest is YouTube and ESL. Yeah, the switch was fairly recent. Like we still have a lot more short form clients than we do have long form clients, but we're just trying to break into that long form, I guess, realm like even more. So we're trying to push for long form clients, but we still accept short form clients and we still have a lot of short form clients with us, but our focus moving forward will be long form for sure. Cause I just believe right. there's a higher ROI to get from YouTube. So we're just pretty bullish on YouTube than we are on short form, but still yeah. is good, you know, Bo both is good. I mean, yeah, it's good that like, I know also one thing with you is you like to sling deals. So like, let's say you're on a call with someone, they don't want to do your main, you know, 3K a month package, whatever it is, like you'll still sell like, you know, something small, right? Cause you never want to turn down 
down the prospect. If it's in the realm of content and we can do it, like we'll take it. Like there's a price for everything. You know, if you want one video, we'll do it. If you want just two videos a month, we'll do it. If you want just editing, just scripting, like we'll do it. And then you help us yeah. with that too. Cause sometimes we don't know how to price things, but like you help us, you know, how to like handle the response, how to price things, how to make it seem, you know, valuable to them. And then everything in that matter in sense. Awesome. Dope. What you're doing for client acquisition, cause obviously scaling from like 8K to like 30K a month and being able to maintain it. You know, it's pretty quick, right? So what are you doing? Are you sending outreach? Are you getting clients inbound? Are you running any ads? Yeah, so I'm not running any ads. I'm getting a few clients inbound per month, uh, just off Twitter, sometimes Instagram, sometimes YouTube as well. But most of it is coming from outreach and referrals. So for outreach, we rarely do any outreach that's like, yo, do you need videos or anything like that? A lot of our outreach is value-based outreach. So we always come with a free script, a free thumbnail, or like offering a free video. We're always offering value. And I guess you would call this the G100 outreach, you know, something that you taught us very well. The main thing we're doing right now is we're offering free long form or free short form scripts to clients. And we basically say, hey, we wrote you this entire script for a YouTube video. If you record it, we'll edit it, make the thumbnail, and then, you know, do the SEO and everything for you. All you have to do is record it. So that's basically how we're getting most of our clients right now is G100 and also referrals. So we're just asking current clients right now, like, yo, do you know anyone else who might be interested in what we do? If you refer us to someone, we'll give you a discount. We'll give them a discount. And we're just slinging deals back for it. That's one thing I always cover on onboarding calls, like with you, with your business partner, Omar, and then everybody else in the program. One of the first things I say is like, okay, here's how you get more referrals. And it's like word for word, exactly what you said, like, hey, offer an incentive, make sure you ask, because if you don't ask, you don't get. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. And then how much are you working per day? Like, are you pushing like 18 hour days, no sleep? Or are you doing like, oh, you know, like six to eight hours? Do you have a life outside of your agency? So I do have a life outside of my agency. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it though, but um, <laughs> it honestly can range anywhere from like five to 12 hours. Like it also depends, like some days I'm working like five hours deep work and that's worth more than some days where I'm working eight to 10 hours, not even deep work. Like I'm just like doing random things. I'm still working on the agency, but I'm not like focused on like a certain task or like a certain needle moving task. It ranges from like five to 10 hours per day. Yeah. Gotcha. Makes sense. Cool. One other thing I want to ask is obviously you have video editors on your team. Is it easy for you to hire editors after everything you've learned inside of the program? Or is it still kind of like a hassle and a bottleneck? It's honestly a lot easier to hire editors after, you know, what you taught us just because before we were just sending like mass DMs to editors, like, yo, like I need an editor, this, that, this, that, you know, going back and forth with all of these editors can be very time consuming. But um, after you taught us, you know, hiring funnel on Trello and stuff like that, I have editors coming to us and then like just filling up the Trello board. And I just look through all of these applications, like hundreds of applications easier. It's just a lot easier to hire and look through, you know, editors to find the best pretty much. Yeah. But before, Makes like, sense. it was pretty hard to find team members without a funnel or I guess position yourself. Cool. Where do you see the agency going in the next like six to 12 months? Are you going to hit like 50K, 100K? What's the, the sort of outlook? Before the end of 2024, we want to hit anywhere between like 50 to 60K. Right now we're at 30. Awesome. So that's almost doubling our agency by the end of the year. But that's our goal. Cool. Yeah, definitely doable. Like what's going to happen is right around end of August to like start of September, all the business people are going to stop slacking because the summer's over. They're going to be like, man, I need more leads, need more content. They're going to come to everyone inside of the program. Me and you make a ton of money because last year in 2023, I was at like 30K in July. August was like 44K and then like September was like 62K. So like I literally did it in like two, three months. So you can 100% crush it by end of the year. What's like one thing that sort of surprised you when you jumped in the program? You're like, maybe you got a ton of value out of something you weren't expecting or any sort of positive thing you want to walk through? It would be a lie if I said I was surprised. I kind of already knew what I was getting into just because I already knew you as a person. I knew how hardworking you are. I know you're pretty pretty diligent in what you do. And that's how you scaled your agency to like around 100k a month. So I knew what I was getting into, like this program is going to be good. And it is, it's great, actually. But one thing that I like, especially well is if I have a question, or if I have a problem, I already know you've overcame this problem, like every single step I'm in, like you've been in this step. But if I have a question or a problem, I kind of just like hit you guys up in slack, and I'll get an answer in like within an hour. And I think that's what I like the most. It's just yeah. having like direct access to you because you've built what I'm trying to build, basically. Cool. If someone's like on the fence, of joining the program like you know they don't know if it's worth it they don't know if they want to do it they don't know if it's going to work what would you have to tell them i mean if you're serious like what better way to scale your agency other than like paying someone or joining a program of someone who's done what you're going through so i think like scared money don't make money and i think this is a great place to be just because you know amon's been through every single problem we've been through also 
just a community of other content agencies where they're going through the same problems as you. They're asking questions that you might not even know to ask. It's just a lot of value to be gained just because you've been through what we've been through. And there's a lot of other content agencies now going through similar things. So I think it's a great community to be in. So awesome. Well, thanks for your time, Stephen. I'm going to leave all of Stephen's links down in the description. He also has a business partner named Omar who couldn't join us today, unfortunately, but his links will also be in the description. And if anybody's watching this, you're a content agency or a video editor, you're above 1K a month, you have like one or two clients, you're struggling to scale, hit the first link in the description to book a call with me and my team and we can see if we can help you. So that's it. Thanks for your time, Stephen, and we'll talk soon. Appreciate it. Peace. Thanks.